What is up, Humanoid Nation? Our second video of React to, to react to tonight. Oh my god, I'm stuttering. I can't speak. These pain meds, man. These pain meds. Okay, so this channel is called CJ the Champ. It's called Tanya. Tanya? Tanya or Tanya? I can never get that name right. The Asikai Demon. I have no idea what I'm getting into. I, uh, but. Let's see what we're going to get ourselves into. Let's do this. Material education is protected by fair use law. Okay. So then after this is over, she's like, wow, y'all did it. Congratulations. Now let's start exercise two. Huh? Y'all got 48 hours to get your asses to the camp. So uh, quit looking at me stupid and get the stepping. Is this nigga serious? I'm already confused. I don't watch anime, so I don't know what this reference is to. I don't watch anime at all, man. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. It is finally time to return to the round table of Black Air Force activity because a new challenger has approached to be judged and to take their rightful seat at this sacred table of demons. And it's none other than this sweet, innocent little... <sighs> She doesn't look well, innocent. She has some crazy the eyes. The literal spawn of Satan, Tanya. God damn. Kuchov. This ain't no damn little girl. This is a demon child, a warmonger, a tyrant. This is pure evil, immortal form. Like, I got think that I Joker this smile all the way back with like truck. Coon. What was that like a year ago? <laughs> Jesus. But y'all already know we got the evidence on deck and it is finally time to observe the isekai demon. Isekai oh, demon. Okay. Exhibit A. I butchered that name really badly. Hi, right, ladies and gentlemen. Spoilers ahead for a show I never game, watched. The okay. Origins of a demon. So we start off in 2013. Meet Tanya. I beg your pardon. Yeah. Tanya. This Jeff Bezos ass businessman is Tanya. So as we what? see, bro is laying off this guy right here. Bro said, "Listen, you ain't clocking in on time. You do subpar work, and you lazy as hell. So you fired." Nigga. But bro's like, please, I have a family. But then he says, uh, is that supposed to be my problem? You see, if you wasn't doing some shitty ass work, you wouldn't be in this situation right now. So f out of my face. Oh my God. So later on, while homie is at the train station, he ends up getting pushed into the tracks by the dude that got let off. And then revenge he once more. Vengeance? What's good with y'all niggas? Y'all never thought y'all would see me again, huh? Oh, well, I'm oh. getting better than ever. Look at me, I'm a train. What, y'all thought y'all would never see me again after what the Tokyo Avengers did? After I squished that bitch and made her a can of spam? It's so satisfying to see a protagonist bone squished and spam. I am so f confused. I am so confused on what's going on. Light it on my windshield. You will be a fine addition to my collection. No. So homie ended up getting reincarnated into Tanya. And now bro really in the trenches. So Tanya had a plan. She said, I, right, I'll just join the military. So she ended up rising through At the ranks pretty five? fast. Because At she has five years old. Of a 40 year old man. So she ended up becoming a drill sergeant. So she like, I right, listen to f up. You at, listen so to she, at 12 years I old, say, she's a drill sergeant. If you disobey me, I will not hesitate to put my foot up your ass. If you disobey me again, I will put a bullet in your motherfucking skull. Am I clear? Wipe your mouth, little girl. Put a napkin over that. Am I supposed to be looking at this? Or is that supposed to be there? It's kind of bugging the shit out of me. Why? Wipe it. Go. Um, uh, question, can I go to the bathroom? Sure, you can go to the bathroom. You know what? You could do it right now for everybody to see. Oh my god. So obviously, they're taking this as a joke because they think that, oh, this is just a little girl. But dear god, they will learn. Because later on in the day, an explosion ends up happening. And she blasted these niggas out of the classroom. So then she walks up and she's like, mm, mm, mm. Look at y'all on the Okay, ground, it's a birthmark. Up this like is a fucking thing bitch. right here. So then it's a birthmark. Her, but then she just slapped him. I guess she, she can't says, wipe it off. That's bugging the shit out of me right now. Put a bullet in your skull. Looks like your brains need to be rearranged because you can't follow orders for shit. But then dog has to stop. He's like, hello, hello, chill. 
So after this incident, they ended up sending her on this recon mission. So she ends up finding some enemies, so she calls an artillery strike on them. So while they're getting bombed, she's just watching them, and she's like... Enjoying it. Running around like... He's enjoying it. Pathetic. They deserve to die. But while she's doing this, she ends up getting attacked. So she's like, hey, cuz, I need reinforcements. But then they say... Fuck you. sorry, but uh, we ain't got no reinforcements right now. Huh? Fuck you and your reinforcements. Over and out, my nigga. Bye. They look at her, she like, oh, hell no. They're sending me to die. But then she just starts losing it. She like, well, oh, fuck. Looks like we on pack watch tonight. So she blitzes them and starts blasting. Oh my gosh, she blew up his arms. But then she ends up running out of ammo. So she's like, huh, looks like I have to improvise. Hiya. So she sucks this nigga. Then she grabs homie from behind and she's like, do you want to go boom boom? Oh, shit! Overkill. That is definitely overkill. Oh my gosh, she killed all of them. And look at her fall, and she's like... <laughs> How is she not the still seas. on the ground yet? So she's still in the air? She ended up getting an award. And oh, now they so she can get injured. Lines. So she starts fighting this company right here, and she just starts going ballistic. So then she... How is she... Wait, can she fly? So she can fly? I don't know. I'm... What? Blitzes these dudes and cuts homie's head clean off with a ginormous smile on her face. Oh, she is just collapsing them. Kill. So then she flies all the way up and starts talking to him. Attention, you are on Imperial grounds. This is our land, so f off with that busted ass hockey puck on your head. So obviously, <laughs> they listen. So they just start shooting at her, but she just eats it. So she's like, ugh, so uncivilized. Oh, hold on, hold on a second. Okay, I see she's hovering. So, but she got injured. So she has, but she got rid of a blast with her hand. So she has powers. What is she? What the fuck am I looking well, at? Time to pull out the aim button. Tactical nuke incoming! Yeah! Oh, shit. Here we go again. So after the shot, she's like, <coughs> God damn, your packs ain't hard as shit. Now, please surrender, and Uh, Lieutenant, I think they're dead. I think there's no one to surrender so to. after this, Tanya ended up having a run-in with these two soldiers. So these dudes end up trying to go take out the artillery, but that's not their orders. Wait. So Tanya's this like, person can also fly. What the fuck is- That is not my uh, orders. I'm gonna stop asking questions. Here. I'm but getting a headache. Did it, listen, and did it anyways. Uh. So later on, when they get back to camp, she calls them in and she says, all right, y'all niggas going home. You can't listen to orders. I ain't got no patience for somebody that can't do their job. But they like, hell no, nah, I plan work. So then she just looks at him and says, so are you saying that you're disobeying me? So you're saying I should kill you niggas right here. But Victoria ends up stopping her. So she's like, ah, fine, fuck out of my face. But don't think y'all getting off light. So after this, those two ended up getting stationed at the rear because Tanya sent them there. So That's a trap right there. Passing. So they end up getting a report saying that those two dudes, Kirsten and Harold, are dead. They ended up getting hit by a random shell. So Victoria goes and tells random Tanya, shell. No, uh, Kirsten and Harold are dead. And she's like, yeah, I know. So she's like, wait, 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 what? Then Tanya says, that pillbox is very exposed and is an easy target for artillery fire, don't you think? So then she realizes, oh my God, Lieutenant, did you send them niggas to die? <laughs> hey, did she get rid of her white spot or is it still there? No, nah, it's still there. Never mind. <laughs> Ding. Oh no, bro. She sent them to their death because she knew that place was going to get attacked. She said, cold I am as the hell. judge, jury, and That's execution. some cold ass shit. Oh, no. Nah. I can honest a guy in this trial right here just off of that. But this is just the beginning. It gets 10 times worse. So, yeah, that was Exhibit A, and it's time to move on to Exhibit B. All right, ladies and uh, What from I know I'm about this girl? She's Exhibit crazy as hell. War crimes. So, Tanya ends up getting permission from the generals to have a special battalion all to herself so they give her a month to train them so at the training ground she ends up blowing up the entire place 
So she's like, wake up, bitches. It's time for target practice. But not for y'all, for me. So hope y'all can survive for 36 hours. So run, she ends up bitches, shooting run. up a bunch of duds. Well, then one ends up blowing up. So she's like, oh, I forgot. I accidentally added some live shells in there. Wait, wait, hold on. I thought she only had a white spot on the bottom lip. Now there's one on her top lip. What the fuck? Now I got a two things to look at now. Oh my God. Uh, uh. So, uh, good luck. So this ends up going for 36 hours. Seriously? A whole day and a half. So then after this is over, she's like, wow, y'all did it. Congratulations. Now let's start exercise two. Huh? Y'all got 48 hours to get your asses to the camp. So uh, quit looking at me stupid and get the stepping. Is this nigga serious? So she made them track all the way through the freezing cold and through enemy territory to the new camp. So That's then they also savage. ended up getting hit by an avalanche. So she's just standing over him like, wow, y'all some bums. So bro right here is knocked out. So she flies over to him and kicks the <laughs> shit out of him. God she damn. just picks up dude right here. And she's hey, like, you're dying. I'm going to beat the shit finish. out of you just for fun. So about a month later, their training arc finally completes. And look at her. She's like, ugh. I wish she's she twitching. Die. She's twitching. But oh, well, congratulations. You are no she's longer about to lose it. bitches. So let's go catch some bodies. So they end up fighting this one country called Docky. So while they lighten them up, Tanya's just looking down on them like... So now they can all pathetic. hover. What are they doing? The f*** are they? The British in the Revolutionary War? They're lighting up in a line. Nigga, this ain't 1776. So later on, they end up finding their base. So she lands and she's like, greetings. Welcome to the fatherland. What is the purpose of your visit? Do you have your visas? Because if you not, have your papers, we're going to have to deport your asses. Body bags included. So they start shooting at her and she says... <sighs> So uncivilized. Shouldn't have done that. You're Get dead. So then after this, she's like, all right, y'all want to have some fun? Let's go to their capital and blow that sky high. So that so night, they let's end up do a January 6th. So they end up giving Tanya the megaphone and she's like, <clears throat> Greetings, greetings, everybody. It is my job to inform you that we are about to blow your shit sky fucking high. This is your only Hold on a second. So it, it, so now the white spot is over here, not here and up here. They keep moving around the goddamn dot. Greetings, everybody. It is my job to inform you that we are about to blow your shit sky f***ing That high. shit keeps moving around like it I owes rent. Miss. So they end up just blowing up the place. Good God. So after this, they end up having another battle. So in this one, she said, just so y'all know, I cancel reinforcements. I need to know if y'all got that dog in y'all. So then these bombers end up pulling up. She's like, ah, yes, time for some action. Back so on the left, on not the on the right. Then she says, greetings and goodbye. I'm gonna just leave this right here if y'all don't mind. Oh, shit. So then the other planes start retreating. So she's like, where do y'all think y'all going? I ain't done with you yet. The latest and greatest aimbot installed by German super science. So she shoots it and oh my god. God damn, oh just one shot gets them all. Ever seen. Nah, that aimbot is out of control. That rivals Roberta's. Instead of phase, nah, I'm taking us for a throwback. Optic Tanya, nigga. So then she goes down to inspect the plane, but then time stops and you know who starts speaking to her again. Yo, what's good, little nigga? You like the wood I sent you to? Send your ass back to World War One so you can dig yourself out the trenches. Literally, that's why I sent your ass to trench warfare, nigga. But then she ends up just shooting him. She's like, dog, I ain't got time for your bamboozled ass shenanigans today. So then about a minute later, she finds this cabin. So then she says, God is Oh my god. <sighs> Should have been stationary in a whack ass wooden building. So then after this, Tanya ends up committing one of the most awful war crimes ever. Ass genocide. So a resistance was forming in the Republic territory that they took over. So Tanya's crew pulls up and they try to ambush them, but this did not go well at all because she ended up bodying them. <laughs> So after they crush this entire resistance, she ends up telling them, yo, all y'all better surrender now. But obviously they don't. So this one Imperial guy ended up running out, but they ended up shooting. But Tanya was recording the entire time, just waiting for them to slip up and take the bait. 
So that gave her the permission to wipe out the entire town. So she ordered an artillery strike on the entire place and Holy just destroyed shit. everything. That's some Home crazy ass civilians, shit. It didn't matter. Everything was just getting blown up. So hours later, after the barrage finally ends, they end up getting orders to take out the remaining mages. But the thing is, the mages are by a bunch of civilians trying to evacuate. But Tanya's like, hmm. I don't care, an order's in order. So bro right here comes in and he tries to stop her. He's like, yo, this is just morally wrong. This is terrible. But she's like, an enemy is an enemy. Look at all them civilians right there. You think that some of them ain't gonna turn into soldiers one day? Some well, of them. You best Maybe this dude they, right uh, here. Woman, kid, that anger it in don't him. matter. So then she smacks homie and puts him on what the ground. What the fuck, then she you puts catch your own people. Well, why am I not surprised? So what's it gonna be? You or them? You can follow waters, can't you? So do it! <laughs> and let's just say, that was a very dark day. So yeah, that was Exhibit B. That, that was, was only Exhibit B? There's exhibit more to this? Exhibit. Oh, we're exhibit only 14 C. minutes in? Holy shit. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We have finally reached our final exhibit. Exhibit oh, final C. exhibit. Tearing apart a family. Meet Colonel Sue. A colonel from the U.S., like literally homeboys from Arkansas. So his daughter ends up giving him this gun. And this is very important. So later on, they end up having this battle with Tanya. And Tanya and them <laughs> f***ing them up, I ain't gonna lie. Colonel Sue's forces dropping like flies. So then he sees Tanya and he starts having PTSD. He's like, wait a minute. I remember you. You're that little girl that took out my whole squad that one day. Swear to God, I'm gonna kill your ass. So he is a Russian, -er, but she just stabs the life out of this man. God so damn, not even a like, good wait, enough fight. He just- Haven't I seen you before? Well, uh, it really don't matter. <laughs> You're a side character. I'll be taking that gun though. Man, so you didn't allow this guy. You didn't allow this man to at least have so a decent thought, fight. Because was still alive. He's somehow tainted. Oh, he's still alive. He with the power of God. So about a week later, while they on another mission, bro comes back and look at him. He's dripped out with an eye patch now. So he's Nick Fury crazy. now. He got the trench gun and everything. Bro is not playing games. So when he ends up getting close, she kicks a gun out of his now, hand. This is the fight we wanted. Knife. So she stabs him and she's like, yeah. Oh. Hey, hey, you like that, big boy? But bro ate the knife and he's about to explode himself. But the little old duckling ended up coming and saving her. So then she pulls out his gun and she's like, Say goodnight, motherfucker. So she ended up dumping the whole mag in his ass. This man can't catch a break. No choice. He, he just wanted revenge. And look at a coffin. <laughs> Pack watch, nigga. Rip, bozo, you won't be missed. Appreciate the new gun. So after she offed him, his daughter, the person that gave him that gun, Mary Sue, he coming for you to avenge her father. And dear God, her name is Mary Sue for a reason because she is a literal Mary Sue. She is broken. She's got the power of Jesus and Tanya's power on crack. So Tanya gets sent off to this country that's basically Russia in their world. So she gives them the mission briefing. So Victoria asks her, yo, are we permitted to defend ourselves or what? And she says, they're communist. Blow the shit out of them. So they get to Moscow and she's like, all right, y'all know what to do like this job. So they just start wreaking havoc and blowing up everything. Then she saw this statue and said, hmm, I don't like that shit, tear that shit down. So then after they destroy the place, she's like, ah, that looks way much better. I should invest in real estate here now. So then after this, they do one of the most absolutely disrespectful things I've ever seen. They Which is... plant their flag on their capital and starts to sing their national anthem while shooting a music video. What the hell? Oh, no, nah, bro. Who in their right mind would think of this? This is a hostile takeover. That's some crazy ass shit. Them in hood. So then here come old Mary Sue cooking her head ass. So Tanya How says, fast is she gonna God, die? You are a bother. Here, eat my empty mag. So then she gut checks her. And then Mary Sue's like, wait, wait, wait a minute. Isn't this the gun that I bought my dad? Oh, no, nah, this was the that killed my dad. 
So then Tanya just starts lighting her up with her own gun that she bought her dad. And she put her ass out of commission. So then a couple days. So pass these people can't get revenge at all. Mary ends up pulling up again. So they start fighting. So Mary's like, you stupid little nigga, you killed my papa. And Tanya's like, uh, do you think I care? Not my problem, bitch. Which so father? I killed so many fathers. So she goes down to see if she's still alive. And she starts walking out that hole like How the, the fuck is she still alive? Hey, bitch, you best know I'm from Arkansas. The f I'm a Razorback, nigga. So she ends up socking Tanya and sends her into the spin cycle. Then she's looking at her like, I waited for this day so goddamn long. So she just starts beating her. Mickey, monka, get your ass up, girl. So then after she finishes beating the life out of Tanya, she starts looking at this angel and she's like, oh, yes, praise God. But Tanya ends up throwing Aww. a knife in her. So she tries to attack him, but These she people pops. can't get revenge at all, this said, family. You uncivilized animal. Tell your no revenge for this family at all. Oh, oh my God, bro. She is just different. The dad and the daughter? <laughs> Demon. But right before she's about to finish her off, homeboy ended up coming in and saving her. Ooh, she got lucky. And oh, she so she's still alive then. Should have domed her ass. She got shot ten times, but whatever. Alright, I've seen enough. Sit down. This is just demonic. The war crimes committed. Killing your own men. Literally traumatizing Mary Sue, as well as killing her father with a gun that she gave him. That's as cold. Well as cussing out God on multiple occasions. This is truly the spawn of Satan. So yeah, that's another episode down. So uh, hope y'all enjoy it. Make sure you follow your boy on IG and Twitter. Sub to the second channel, and uh, I'm out of here. Okay. I don't know what the hell just happened because I never seen the show, so that's very interesting. But goddamn. This Tanya girl is crazy as hell. Uh, the family, though, the father and the daughter, not... Oh, God, he got taken down so bad. I don't know what else to say. This is just... just I'm so confused. Anyways, that's it for now, Human Nation. Human Freak out. Bye! Pasito a pasito, suave, suavecito.